Hey you guys, so today's video is going to be like a charm and chatty update, okay you guys? Like I seen this lady had commented, I don't know where the comment went, but um, I tried to reply to her and it didn't show up in the comment section. So um, this lady was checking out the charm and chatty that I have. I think I had it right there, I have it on the side of me and I'm going to show you everything about this doll. I mean, it's been a couple of years I think since I showed it to you. And if you're new to this channel, um, I do have a charm and chatty doll, she was back there like in my hoard of many many dolls that I own so this is um charm and chatty um vintage I think 60s or 70s I'm not sure but this may be some of you guys' childhood dolls she's wearing a reproduction outfit I just kind of googled charm and chatty outfits and this kind of showed up let's see if I can get a good close-up for you guys okay so there you go there you go um, I just kind of googled like charm and chatty outfits and this was something that showed up and this lady makes reproduction clothing from the original patterns that they had years ago. I mean everything's reproduction from the socks, the um, the um, jacket, the um, shirt underneath, the um, this right here and the underwear too. She's got little undergarments, they're like white panties. These are her socks and shoes which are really cute. This is reproduction, this is an original pair of her shoes. Um, and she is mute, and years ago she used to play records, which I do have on side of me. Um, I have the records. I have about one, two, three, four. I think one, two, three, you know, four records, I think. And they all have different personalities. And when you pull the string, the doll used to actually talk and, you know, do different things. So, um, so this is the doll up close. Now, she is wearing her original um glasses because they have like little chew marks behind here so i think that's really cool right and she's a pretty good doll the green on her arm is from the attic the attic actually discolored her along with her outfits whatever she was wearing you know her clothing did turn brown so if you guys really put your dolls in the attic it will discolor them greatly i mean and this doll's hair was severely matted when i got her i specifically looked for one um I don't know, like one that was in uncut condition, like the hair itself. And I did find one that was uncut. And this is her little pull, pull string right here. This is a pull string doll. And the original outfits, they had a, like a little hole right here where the, where this string right here would come out. And in the repo outfits, they just kind of drape over the top. She does have like a little loop thing to where the hole like, could be pulled out, I guess, right there. And the original outfit was right here. So it is a reproduction outfit. This lady did an amazing job. She used an original pattern, which is really nice. Despite the hole not being there. I mean, she's a really nice doll. She's vinyl. I think she's from the 60s, you guys, if I'm not mistaken. Um, So this is her repo outfit right here. I'm going to show you her pajamas. Like, I had this lady make all kind of stuff when I first got this doll. And this lady is amazing. I don't know her name, but um, thank you, lady. Um, just Google like charm and chatty outfits. This, I, don't, I wish I knew like this. The um, it was it was like a website that did all of this. Um, so this is her little slippers like for nighttime. And oh, I have one, two, three, four. I have five records. Okay, I have five. Um, this is her pink um pajama set that I that I had her made right here. I mean, it's got the little slip on things. Really, really cute. It, that's her little slippers. And this is her little hair net, like when you put on the rollers at nighttime and you tie your hair up. That was this thing right here. And this is really, really cute. She made this off of an original pattern that used to be a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? It's too bad they don't make dolls like this anymore. And this is a cotton pajamas right here. And it, it's got the little ties on the top. Really, really cute cotton ruffles on the bottom. And this lady is amazing. I mean, she made this repro outfit. I don't know the cost because it's been that many years since I've purchased this outfit. I mean, overall, very, very nice lady. I mean, the outfits are so such pristine. Like, I wasn't paid to even sponsor this lady. That's why I don't even know the lady's name. I mean, I think if I was paid, I'd actually know. But um, these are her, our, her little records. This one says famous on one side and good on the other. So this one says famous right there. If you can see, this is all of her records that used to be like stuck inside of her. Okay. Inside of her stomach on the side. I'm going to show you that in a minute. And this one says good. And we have um, animal noises, scary. So this one says famous, good. Let's see, animal noises and scary. So get acquainted side one, get acquainted side two, and 
get acquainted side two, get acquainted side one. We have two of them like that. I don't know why. And this is Charm and Chatty Mattel poems and then proverbs. So this was um, a talking doll. At one time, this doll did talk, I'm telling you. Um, the records used to be stuck like on the side. Let's see if I can pull up a little shirt. So you'd stick the records like right here, basically, if you can see that. I hope you can see that. I think this is how this works. Like, I'm not from this time. So you used to pull it this way, lock it in place. And then you would stick like the record in here. Whatever one you choose, it's double sided. So you used to stick it right there. Hopefully, you guys are seeing this. Um, and I'm not from this time, you guys. So I'm not no expert. So I'm going to stick this um, record in here. If I can do it, just lay stitches up. It's so good. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So after you stick it in there, then you would um, be out of focus, apparently. No, focus. Um, okay, here we go. So you said side A and side B. Okay, and then you would put it like this, and it would pop back just like that and hold the record in place. And then you could pull the shirt down, and now she has a personality, okay? This is a really good concept for a modern doll especially, okay? So each record has different personalities, right? Okay. So then you would pull the little string on her back right here, which it does pull, but she's mute. You know what I'm saying? And then it would pull back and she would talk. Okay. And you just get the records out by pulling it, you know, unlatching it right here and it should pop. And then you can let the record out, hopefully. This is an old doll, you guys, I'm sorry. It takes, oh, it takes me a minute to get everything out. So, I mean, overall, just a really, really nice doll, you guys. Just really cute as a struggle to get this out of her. Come on. Okay, here it goes. So, um, overall, just a really, really cute doll. I mean, very, very nice, especially being from the 60s. I mean, it still lasted all these years. I mean, what do you guys think of this doll? I mean, she's very, very pretty. I mean, look at his face. They don't even make dolls like this anymore. Look up. She's a little bit creepy, I know, to some young reviewers that never seen Charlie and Chatty before. She's a little bit creepy, I know. She's vintage -y, though. She's cool. What do you guys think of this doll? I mean, leave some comments down below and let me know if you got any other videos that you want to see. Um, If you, if you want to see any of them in the background or if you want to see any updates on any dolls that I have that I did, re that I did a review a long time ago. I still have most of my dolls that I did reviews on. So just remember to like and subscribe and you'll see more doll videos. Bye.